Hi, Chris Simoff with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services in Appleton, Wisconsin, and I'm here to talk about kind of my favorite neighborhoods in North Appleton today to try to convince you to move here. These neighborhoods range anywhere from the 20, 30 years old to 150 years old. Appleton's been around for a long time. It's a community of about 75,000. It borders Grand Chute. Today, we're not going to talk about Grand Chute. We're just going to talk about Appleton. There are two high schools that feed Appleton, North Appleton, that is Appleton's North High School, which was built in 1995, that is very close to the Shields Sports Complex, which is an 80-acre soccer and baseball facility. And then we have more of a central, older, historic high school, West High School, that was the first million-dollar high school in 1938. A lot of history, brick building, just a great facility, too. Then we have two parochial schools. We have Xavier, which is very close to Alicia Park, right on Prospect, has a fine art center that is phenomenal, and that's the Catholic High School. And then we also have Box Valley Lutheran High School that's built on a 65-acre facility in the early 2000s, and that is a tremendous facility too. So you have lots of great school venues to choose from in North Appleton. The first neighborhood we're going to talk about is probably the oldest neighborhood in the city of Appleton, and that is City Park neighborhood. City Park neighborhood is very close to Lawrence, very close to walking downtown. It borders City Park, which is an eight acre park that hosts Art in the Park area. It has a wonderful fountain, a lot of mature trees. The average home price is about 200,000 there. Can get some stuff under 200,000 and it goes on up, you know, an average maybe 400,000 on the high end. There's some big homes that border the park that would probably fall under that price point, if not more. Just a great neighborhood, a lot of history. City Park was pretty just from Lawrence University. It was the first park established in Appleton and it's, you know, very central to downtown. So if you want a character home, you might want to consider City Park. Number two, we're going to talk about the second oldest neighborhood in Appleton and that would be Peabody Park. A Peabody Park is very near City Park. A lot of the houses are ravine lots that feed into the Peabody Park and Trail. And the Peabody Park is a 16 acre park that was formerly called Bel Air Park. Some family donated 50,000 and they renamed it in the 1970s. It borders the Fox River. There's some condos right there on the river. It's um, just a beautiful park and the neighborhood is very, a lot of dead end streets. It's just a neat place to live. You know, the median house price is about 200,000 there, but if you're gonna get anything of any size, you may pay up to 600,000 for a character home, typically in that neighborhood. Number three, we're gonna talk about Alicia Park. Now Alicia Park is tucked in to other parks, Lutz Park and Pierce Park. You access it through the middle of the city. It's very walkable to downtown. It's near Alicia Park, which is a 14 acre park that was established when Alexander Reed, he was heartbroken, he lost his wife Alice. He donated a 14 acre parcel to the city with the request that on her birthday, they plant flowers. So if you go in there, it spells out Alice. And it's a really neat park that overlooks the Fox River. The neighborhood's tucked in around there and you know, it's a little more expensive. You know, the average price is about 250 and you're gonna pay up to 650. If you're on the water, you may pay a million dollars to live in that park, but just a really neat neighborhood, sort of a mix of some ranch homes, most character homes, and it's a very sought after neighborhood. Number four, Pierce Park neighborhood. I used to live by Pierce Park. It's right in the center of the city. It's a 36 acre park. It's a really cool park. They have city band concerts. On Tuesday nights, they host a car show in July. They used to have the fireworks there. A long time ago, they used to have a 50-foot ski jump. And yes, there's photographic proof of that. So it's just a really neat central Appleton neighborhood. And the average house price is about 217000 You could pay anywhere from three hundred to 400000 to live in that neighborhood. A lot of character homes, again. And it's walkable to downtown and walkable to Let's Park, which is on the water and has the Appleton Yacht Club. Walkable to Alicia Park. And Lutz Park, by the way, is only a three-acre park, but it has a public boat launch, and it's just below Pierce Park. So Pierce Park used to be sort of a rowdy place. People used to camp there a long time ago. I've seen pictures. It's really cool. But, you know, a lot of standing oak trees and has a big pavilion. A lot of festivals are held there. And Pierce Park is a character neighborhood you may want to consider. Number five, Gillette Highlands. Gillette Highlands is about a 40-year-old subdivision, and mostly ranches or two stories and it's wedged between like Mason Street and Linwood and it's north of Wisconsin, south of Northland Avenue. A lot of nice homes there. There's a nice 
grade school there, Gillette Highlands. There's a ballpark, a lot of baseball games are played there. And it's just a very nice residential neighborhood. The average price for them now is about 300,000. You could pay up to 360. There's quite a range of ranch homes and traditional two-story home. And it's just a great area to raise a family. Number six, Herb Park. Herb Park in 2017 redid their swimming pool. And since then, it's been sort of a hot spot to move to. The park is a 28-acre park. And it has a swimming pool and an ice skating rink and tennis courts and new play equipment. And the houses around it are anywhere from maybe a 50-year-old ranch to a 100 or 150-year-old character home that border or park. It's just a great area to live. It's a little further north of downtown and the average price in that neighborhood is 257. Houses range on the low end 150 and you can go up to 350 would buy you most homes in the Herb Park neighborhood. Just a nice mix of character homes, a great place to live, a swimming pool as I said, and also swimming pools, skating rink, and so forth. Number seven, Whispering Meadows. It's near St. Thomas More church it is in north appleton and it's a very wooded area and i would say most of the homes range the average is about two hundred thousand, and you can get in for a little under two hundred thousand up to the 435 range a mix of ranch homes and two-story homes very wooded very quiet sort of tucked in there and that neighborhood's about 40 plus years old it's behind amc which is appleton medical center so you have access to facilities. It's not that far from Memorial Park, which is one of Appleton's bigger parks. It's a great area. Number eight, the North Appleton residence is just north of Evergreen and just south of Evergreen. You have Marshall Heights, you have Evergreen Meadows, you have Wind Meadows. And those homes, the average home price is right around 500,000. You can get in for under 400,000, but you may pay up to 800,000. And wedged in the middle of Marshall Heights is a Highland Park. And there's a trail that goes around called the Highland Park Trail. And it's a 12 acre park, Highland Park and play equipment. It's just a great neighborhood park and that's a pretty desirable place to live. The homes there, it was developed probably 30, 40 years ago and it's a mix of two-story modern and ranch homes. And then I would say Ashbury Meadows and then behind North High School, the average home price is probably about 405,000. You could get in for 350, but you may pay up to six, seven, 800,000 depending on if you're getting a 5,000 square foot home. It borders to the five acres of Vosters Park. It's behind Appleton North High School. There's an 80 acre Shields sporting facility on Evergreen Drive and that has um, 20 to 30 year old homes and they're still building it out right now and the entry point for new construction over there is just under 400,000 with the lots that are left. There are some condo developments in there too and if you want to be next to the North High School it's a great alternative for you. And number 10, Apple Hills. Apple Hills is probably the most expensive neighborhood at this time in North Appleton. And the, just the entry point to get into a neighborhood would be right around a million dollars, upwards to three million. Some of the people have their own tennis courts. They have their own basketball courts and it borders a 100 acre nature preserve and it's very close to the Apple Creek YMCA and it's at a high point very north just north of Ballard in Appleton. So if you're looking to reinvest those great profits you made in a more expensive part of the country and you want a big home then Apple Hills might be for you. So I've given you 10 options if you want to move to the city of Appleton and of course there's other neighborhoods but I just wanted to hit on my favorites. You know I had lived in a character home for 15 years when I first moved to Appleton and I loved being by Pierce, Alicia, and Let's Park and being walkable to downtown. Now I live on the other end of town and there's benefits to that. It's a newer house, they don't have an old basement. So it's really a personal preference what you're looking for, but there's a great mix of neighborhoods in Appleton. You know, you can be close to 
um, facilities, festivals, walkable to coffee shops. Our downtown is really nice. And we have a farmer's market every week. That is just phenomenal. We are having getting ready for Mile and Music in a couple weeks. So then we'll have Oktoberfest. So there's lots of fun things to do. We have a nature preserve north of town. So be sure to check out Appleton. And I'd love to have suggestions. So subscribe and give me some suggestions for my next video. And I maybe I'll take it on.